Welcome back to Teleteraan. In solving problems involving potential energy, the following equations are used. PE is equals to MGH, where PE is potential energy, M is mass, and H is height. In computing the value of mass and height from the general equation of potential energy, we have mass is equals to PE divided by gravitational constant equals to 9.8 meter per second multiplied by height. And H or height is equals to PE divided by the value of mass multiplied by the gravitational constant equal to 9.8 meter per second squared. Let us apply those formulas in our sample problems. Sample problem number one. A cart at the top of a 300 meter hill has a mass of 40 kilograms. What is the cart's gravitational potential energy? Using the formula PE is equals to MGH, you may derive at an answer of 117,600 joules. Let us move on with problem number two. Sample problem number two. An apple in a tree has a gravitational potential energy of 175 joules and a mass of 0.36 grams. How high from the ground is the apple? Remembering the formula of height from the general formula of potential energy, we may derive at an answer of 49,603.17 meters. Remember that you need to convert 0 0.36 grams to kilogram first before substituting it to the general equation. Sample problem number 3. A marble is on a table 2.4 meters above the ground. What is the mass of the marble if it has a gravitational potential energy of 568 sol? Using the formula M is equals to potential energy over gravitational constant multiplied by height, we will derive at an answer of 24.15 kilograms. And now, let us try to solve some problems involving kinetic and potential energy. Problem number one. What is the kinetic energy of a jogger with a mass of 65 kilograms traveling at a speed of 2.5 meter per second? Using the formula Ke is equals to 1 half mv squared, the answer will be 203.125 joules. Sample problem number two. What is the mass of a baseball that has a kinetic energy of 100 joule and is traveling at 5 meter per second? Again, we are asked to solve a problem involving kinetic energy. So we will be using the same formula. Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared. And the answer is 1,250 kilograms. Problem number three. A box with a mass of 12.5 kilograms sits on the floor. How high would you need to lift it for it to have a gravitational potential energy of 355 joules? Problem number three is an example of a potential energy problem. So you need to derive a formula for height from the general equation of potential energy. Using the general equation and the derived formula, the correct answer for problem number 3 would be 2.9 meters. For your assignment, how is mechanical energy transformed in a hydroelectric power plant? This is all for tonight. Thank you very much for watching Teletoroan and I hope to see you on our next lesson. Goodbye!